stupid. It's useless to me. Useless. I don't want to buy that. <laughs> What's up guys, this is your boy Venge here, aka the Weekend Warrior, and I'll explain what that means later on in the video, but I'm, you know, I'm already days behind, I already know, but you know, I've been really busy with, you know, the two jobs and all that good stuff, so I wanted to react to the Nintendo Switch Online and Expansion Pack and give you my hot take on it after watching the video and... <laughs> oh, I've just looked at the trailer right now or looked at like the likes and dislikes section and boy Oh my god 75,000 dislikes Update the dislikes still rising like Broly's power level Holy freaking moly. Oh man. All right. I'm in for something Apparently, a lot of people are PO'd about this, so why don't we go ahead and look into it and find out what the fudge is happening. Let's go. go. Nintendo Switch Online offers five benefits that level up your gaming experience. With online play, hmm. NES and Super NES games, save okay, data that's cloud the backup, the Nintendo Switch basics. Online app, and special yeah. offers. Expand it further. I already knew Nintendo about Switch that. Online okay, so here's the expansion pack. pack which there we go. Even more benefits. On the 25th. Let's check okay. out what's included with Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack. Okay. 64 Nintendo 64 system which gave many 64? players their first gaming experience in 3D environments. Do you want more? Everybody stay alert. <laughs> With Nintendo Switch, <laughs> Do a you can now play these games featuring 3D graphics hmm. at a higher resolution whenever and wherever you'd like. Okay. Oh, Ocarina of Time. Okay. I never it's played Ocarina of Time, so I would like to check like. that out. Then so we got Yoshi's Story, eh? Even when you're short Yoshi! on time. You can also play multiplayer games locally or online with mm. up to four players. But is the online good, though? But the fact that it goes up to four players is pretty lit. I'm not going to lie about that. Additionally, more games will be added in the future. But you... Okay, Paper Mario. We hope you look forward Still to don't know how to feel about this, next. though, man. Still don't know how to feel about this. It... Players who have the Animal Crossing New uh -huh. Horizons game can enjoy the paid DLC. Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home. Play I didn't ask for that, no. Cost. Expand your horizons and help design vacation homes I for didn't clients ask for on that, all though. new resort islands. I don't even play the game like that. Oh, come on, man. All right, how much Sega. is this going to be? Okay, I already play know Sega about Genesis Sega. Games on Nintendo Switch. Okay, Sega that's, game whenever you that's like. kind of pog. Or even rewind game That's play. kind of pog. I mean, like Sega. I already know that Streets of Rage 2 is going to be on games there. Can also be played online. I better see some More Golden Sega Axe Genesis 3 though, will be added in the future. All right, now Gunstar Heroes, Nintendo I'm Switch with Online it. is available starting at the pricing options shown here. Nintendo okay. Switch Online plus expansion pack adds the three benefits we previously introduced. Okay, how starting much, at this though? pricing plan. <laughs> if two or more people will be using this new membership plan, the family membership is the most cost-effective option. Current Nintendo Switch Online members can change over to Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack at any time and receive a program oh, discount like based that. on the number of days mm -hmm. remaining in their current membership. Mm -hmm. Please visit mm -hmm. the official okay. website for I more details. I can just like stop it right there. Uh, ew, this is ugly. No wonder. No freaking wonder, right? No wonder they did this no wonder they did this this is like <laughs> i'm just gonna stop watching the video at that point right there that's all i needed to see this is ugly guys <laughs> that's clearly overpriced so in order to play sega and nintendo 64 games we gotta bone up 50 bucks 
Nah, famo. This is so mid. I don't even play Animal Crossing New Horizons like that. I mean, making the DLC for New Horizons as part of the package is freaking stupid. This stupid. It's useless to me. Useless. I don't want to buy that. I mean, unless the DLC includes better multiplayer options, I mean, I would play it a lot more if players can actually help me work on my island, like do more than just dig holes. If you can actually do that, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I last played. I'm just being real here. If Nintendo allows that, I would, I just would play more. But like I said bef before, I mean, I would, but I don't. And as far as New Horizons is concerned, the moon is still up. You know, now I know how those poor ducks feel when they're forced fed to become ragua. You know, that duck dinner that, you know, they're force fed live in order to become ragua. I mean, like, now I know how the ducks feel, man, because that's how I feel right now. They're forcing something on me that I don't necessarily want. Um, I don't, unless it's really that cool and people are into that. But me, I haven't played the game any since freaking Bunny Day. Bunny Day ruined the game for me. And then the lack of multiplayer just was like made New Horizons kind of mad to me, but who knows, maybe one day I'll get back into it, I don't know. Especially since I'm being force-fed that DLC, I might as well try it at least. And then if you look at the library of the current NES and SNES collection, it isn't impressive. You know, there's quite a few lame choices on there and there's so many great games that are currently left out still. For example, Super Double Dragon, Chrono Trigger, Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, just to name a few. I know there are a lot more than that, but those are just a few games that popped in my head as right now. And with an online feature for Sega and Nintendo 64 work well, will we get more and better games at a faster rate? And if you look back at Nintendo's track record when it comes to how they're handling the NES and the SNES game collection, I mean, it's kind of not that great. I mean, the online connectivity isn't that great and it's really bad on the NES and then you know, obviously the infrastructure overall isn't that great. So imagine if imagine if you buy it and then the online is trash, you would flip as many tables as you can. Um, but what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to put my money on the line and test it so you don't have to on twitch.tv if you're enjoying this video then be sure to use the link either in the description section or comment section below to follow me on twitch so you can see me live during the weekend as the weekend warrior oh yeah make sure to do that so the only way i would pay 50 bucks for a year is if nintendo gives us as much as possible if i literally want to pay 50 bucks i mean a good example of what they could do is just add a game boy and ds titles that would be freaking sweet i mean if you think about it nintendo has been purging emulators for quite some time so why not flip and give us more darn games come on come on monami and last but not least, why force DLC on us? What about the people that don't have Animal Crossing New Horizons, but yet they want to play the Sega and N64 games? That would be a rip off for them, because obviously the reason why it's that freaking high is because of the inclusion of the Animal Crossing New Horizons DLC. I mean, come on, man. I mean, is this some kind of new model? Like, is Nintendo trying to do some kind of free DLC campaign annually or monthly? And honestly, annually would be an even shadier choice. It, 
if they're going to do some crap like this, there better be like monthly free DLC or something. I don't, I don't know. Weekly free DLC. Something to pay that much money a year. When clearly, I, they're not going to do that. <laughs> I, I mean, they might do it annually, but monthly, no. Who am I kidding? Nintendo ain't going to do that. I mean, really, the gaming industry is really messed up to me. I mean, I just miss the days when we you know get a complete game and then we unlock things as rewards for progress and or completion that's those are the days i miss i miss those days we're talking before online gaming became a really big thing see because i'm a bit more old-fashioned I mean, I understand expanding the low, you know, like expanding the low, increasing the longevity of a game, but to do it in such a fashion is just beyond me. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If you enjoyed my personality, join me on Twitch so you can check me out during the weekends and maybe some late night streams on youtube we find out what's going down when it comes to youtube there's a lot i'm trying to figure out right now um i'm enjoying what i'm doing right now you know i'm trying to create a new format to get the community more involved and more together um so hey wherever i see you i can't wait to see you whether it's on youtube whether it's on switch i just look forward to seeing you there so you guys have a good night or a good day and uh you know give nintendo heck because <laughs> what they're doing right now is muy mal right so see you later